<laughs> oh, hello, all you lovely people, and welcome back to Elst Outskirts. If uh, the map and the players here seem familiar to you, then it's because yesterday's cast was indeed on the same map, same people. It's just that now the faction has been switched up. This time around, we got Kimbo playing as the Austria and Thomas playing as the Duobo Commander West and Scotch. Got the Soviets and Crossfire got the British forces. All players except Scotch is already locked in their commander. Crossfire going for Mandos, Kimbo, Jaeger armor. Oh, will we see an elephant perhaps? And Thomas, Overwatch Doctrine. <clears throat> Anything about the bulletins? Well, we should check a look at Scotch first. NKVD rifle disruption tactics, mechanized support, and armored assault. And now to the bulletins. Most players here, they are just buffing their uh, mainline infantry. Thomas, he's do have this 5% increased armor protection for his Panzer IV. And then, of course, Kimbo with the extended Panzer Faust ability. The range on it has been increased by a whole 7%. Open fire here, first shots are indeed fired and this HMG here is looking to get some suppression in on its first burst. Oorah! One guy got stuck! But it is enough to get away somewhat safely. They did lose a man. <clears throat> no demo charges on retreat this time around. <clears throat> Okay, back up is arriving here. Yeah, the conscripts are helping out as the health starts to drop rapidly on the combat engineers. <clears throat> and there we go. Will the allies actually take double fuel? By the looks of it, they will. Anywho, the Queen's Royal Infantry is out here. And again, this one here has been blocked. Seems to be a go-to thing to do on this map here. Stone Pioneers trying to get the jump on the Tommy Boys, but finds another Tommy Boy squad. And they will have the benefit of the green cover here. Stone Pioneers won't be able to charge them without taking casualties. Still, Stone Pioneers trying to do some uh, good flanking here. Oh yes! And oh no, <laughs> they died. Some of them there standing on the road didn't get the um, the wipe, however. And what is that Gren doing behind enemy lines? Oh, they cut off one of the points, I see. The battle continues to rage here. Volskrenadiers are out in force here and will push off the Tommy Boys, I believe. It's eight versus three. Uh, make that seven versus three. <clears throat> and there we go. Volskrenadiers wins. And that was a good win. They get to keep the cutoff here, denying them fuel from at least this high point. And over here, Kimbo is back at it. Capturing the fuel supply for the Axis. <clears throat> Thomas has already called in his um, Jaeger Light Infantry Recon Squad. Give them the uh, G43 Sniper Rifle and then they will be able to deal those critical hit hits. Where a shot deals what? 60 damage, I believe it is. <clears throat> so, crossfire. This infantry is centered around the guy handing out the painkillers and whatnot, bandages. <laughs> Meanwhile, back in the middle. Always get that green cover down whenever you have the opportunity to do so. And. Ah, this guy applied field aid to those guys. Okay, not bad, but uh, they won't get too much benefit out of it as they moved into combat almost immediately after being uh, handed the uh, medkit. And there we go, now it's gone. Oh well. <clears throat> they do, however, defend the cutoff point, not allowing the allies to get their hands on it as they are about to get a fuel point under their control Tom and the gang they're pushing forward oh got the guy right out there cover <laughs> that ought to teach him to stick his toes out of cover 
Light cover, light cover, light cover. Need light cover. Ugh, one of them got shot. Mm. And they are, of course, targeting the guy with the mid kit. So, uh, bye. <clears throat> G43 sniper rifle just arriving here as the fight is going on. And oh, did they just get a hit already? That's brutal. <clears throat> As the guy with the G43 rifle, he will target the model who is eligible for um, the critical shot. And again, if you haven't watched Tight Rope's video on the G43 rifle, I'd highly advise. Lots of good stuff in that video. <clears throat> okay, you know, I used to say get down that Greek cover whenever you're capturing a uh, point doesn't apply when the enemy is uh, firing at you then you shouldn't do it then you should be shooting back return fire unless you are a split second away of course from getting up the um, the green cover then it is sort of worth it unless he's targeting you with all the small arms fire that he has <laughs> then it's a little dangerous anywho Kimbo's got the little 2 to 2 out making donuts as it finally sets its course straight and heads towards the middle area where we'll run into a few conscripts thus quickly earning its first kill not too shabby by the way scotch gone with the nkvd disruption tactics will oh yes we do have a, a commissar out he's got so many abilities here uh, he can distribute med kits for free grenade and hold the line not one step back and even the dreaded fear propaganda artillery here which is uh, more or less an i win button versus infantry not versus tanks as they cannot but i believe they can in dr dense assault there is a point um, in one of the missions where uh, you spot the tanks with the retreat marker above them that just looks so wrong anywho something is coming and we are just gonna have a little tour of the map as we get an overview doink well that bird got its wings clipped won't be um flying anytime soon but then again it is a glider so um yeah it just glides something unexpected has just happened and crossfire he's going for uh, the aec uh-huh well it will be going up against a 2-2-2 two -two -two, which it will easily be able to handle in a 1v1 <clears throat> most times players just tend to go for a um pack gun versus um light vehicle and kimbo now having queued up two pack guns here he is ready for the um aec but scotch already has his siscon out almost took out the um the 222 cutting it at half making it a 111 <laughs> yeah i know <clears throat> anywho one pack gun gets cancelled in favor of some panzer grenadiers okay We'll see how uh, Kimbo he'll manage to uh, utilize his Panzer Grenadiers here. There are, of course, some uh, sight blockers that he can play around with in order to get the jump on uh, the allies with his Panzer Grenadiers. Sort of around here in the middle area. He might be able to get a good flank off. <clears throat> Something that's not flanking is crossfire. He is brute forcing his way through Thomas's. Uh, forces which are already been cut through and dealt with we got a single Volksgrenadier squad here on the front line being joined by the Jaegers oh my god each man here is probably carrying their own sandbag in the pocket and it won't be of much use because that sandbag is about to go down anyway to uh, the Rakettenwerfer good by Thomas you know Keeping it in his mind here that he should destroy the sandbags with the his Rakeet and Werfer. Now that there are no uh, vehicles around that um, it could be shooting at, the AC is just staying back. 
<coughs> Komisa? Not Komisan, but Komisa? This guy speaks. You know, after I've been uh, casting uh, the player named Komisan, I have actually been getting uh, recommendations from uh, this anime series with a girl called Komisan. So I learned that it's an anime character. <clears throat> Anywho, back to the battle at hand here, Commissar. He should be healing up now. There are no enemies around him. Oh, I said that too soon. <laughs> the two juice just came running in there. Oh, and there goes the medic. Oh, they'll have to um, reach into her pockets and grab the med kits by themselves. If they were planning on sticking around. <clears throat> Scotch. Also bringing out some uh, light vehicles here of his own with the T-70 light tank. Also, got to go up against the uh, 222. How about the AC? Well, it's gotten a kill. And yeah, it's just dangerous for the uh, AC there. So, Rick we're for up here. Double pack guns there. Well, at least the pack guns are being pushed back. And that, that's a shoe mine by Thomas. <clears throat> Not that it will take out any light tanks on its own, unlike a telemine. <clears throat> Anything happening in base? Yeah. Kimbo taking up, escalating to battle phase two, and Thomas, he already got his uh, Svera Panzer headquarters down and getting out those... Um, Obersoldaten, and he already got enough munis to slap on an HMG, making them much more dangerous. <clears throat> that shoe mine there, just begging to be stepped on. <laughs> if they were sentient, of course, but they're not. At least not that I know of. T-70 has been re reeled. It's in action, helping to clear this garrison here, slowly but surely. And thus, open house, it's free real estate. <clears throat> Pigrins, could also throw a grenade in there, that'll ought to clear the house. Or even trying to um, throw it on the uh, doorstep, baiting him to exit the building right on top of the grenade, but no baits around this time. <clears throat> Commissar also there with his little pea shooter. Wanting a piece of the action, but yeah, he probably has to rely on his retinue here. In fact, it's only this guy here currently firing. So let's um, avert our gaze to this side of the map here. Two to two has found the commandos and the AC. It's like this is my moment to shine. Oh, oh, it's already gone. Sad AEC. Oh, yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Grenade on the doorstop. <laughs> Not doorstop. Doorstep. <laughs> Took him out. That was a bundle grenade from the Obersoldaten. Tommy boys wiped. <clears throat> and they both part their ways. AEC, well... <laughs> has increased its kill count by 100% going up to two kills at the moment. Oh, the madness. Yet yeah, the AC hasn't really had is had its time or chance to shine. Well, at least the AC is uh, capable of sort of reliably penetrating a Panzer IV and even harass it with its uh, target threat shot. Oh, Panzer Grenadiers found a mine. They're still alive though. And what? Oh, S mines going down here, uh, or not? Yeah. Okay. Those were S mines. Still going down, actually, despite being shot at. Um, Earth to Kimbo. <laughs> there we go. Retreat has been called, and the S mines have already been revealed. Not that they strictly needed to be revealed. However, combat engineers standing in a minefield while getting shot at. Not good for your um, prosperity. 
However, they are working on it, trying to get those S mines off the road. I see. We just lost. Oh, that was the Siskon that uh, got decrewed and then destroyed. <clears throat> the announcer, he still calls it an infantry squad, despite it being a crew weapon. Team weapon. <clears throat> Obas. Stern Pioneers. The gang is all here and got a Vickers here, but not capable of helping out versus this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Takes out the Stern Pios. Grenade like Gammon Bomb. The, the Vengeance. Avenging their lost fallen Tommy Boys. Where's the AC? It's heading into action right now. Let's see it penetrate that P4. Mm, well. Looked like a miss. There's a plane in the sky. It's Kimbo. Reconnaissance overflight. Very handy um, ability. Giving you lots of uh, intel on where the enemy is. Also revealing the cloaked commandos. I haven't really seen uh, Scott utilize the Commissar's ability. Abilities. That's a shame. Oh, well, okay. There's one ability. The grenade. <laughs> Is it going to get him? Fire? Shoot? No? Gets away. Sad. <clears throat> HMG just keeping guard up here and also take note. Whenever you um, find the uh, op your opponent's green cover, then try to deny it or destroy it if you get the chance. <clears throat> Kimbo, he has gone all the way up to Heavy Panzer Corps now, getting up that uh, Brumbear, the fat boy. And just as well, Scott is now taking up, getting his mechanized armor company up. And yeah, company command post also up here for Crossfire. <clears throat> How's it looking for um, Crossfire and his fuel situation? He is a bit dry as he does not yet have enough fuel to go for a um, medium tank this p4 here armor has actually been holding up versus the ac <clears throat> but then again this is the j model oh just cancel the uh the grenade at the very last second but these guys um no Oh, he was expecting them to move into the cover, but instead, I think he actually hurt himself. Fortunately, no models were dropped, so... Uh... And healthcare is free once you have given the uh, initial... Um... Paid the initial price of getting some uh, medkits. Or uh, in this case here, they got passive healing by the looks of it. Field medkit. Huh. I see. Well, that's that. Self reliant. <clears throat> Brumbera has taken a nose dive and looks like it found some double cis guns there. Took a bit of damage and now, what's this? The Commissar? Yeah, fear artillery here. Actually, demoralizes, pinning them all the way over there. Thought it wouldn't reach, but apparently it did. Well, that's two uh, pieces off the board, at least for now. <clears throat> Obersodaten and their cousins, the Panzergrenadiers, engaging the enemy. And look at this crossfire. Cheeky cheeky boy. Having stolen every kitten warfare, and he needs it. Yeah, because him dealing with armor, then he has to rely on, well, now the Rakitten warfare and. The AEC, which... Well, okay, that's actually put a dent, I believe, into that Panzer IV. Oh, boy. Pegrins thought they could outsmart the commandos, but nope. With the rat-a-tat-tat, -tat, they were sent home back, back, back again. 
Sniper boys here. Oh, 25 kills. They've been popping in heads and names. And they have the most kills of all the uh, combat infantry that Thomas is fielding. Hey, Brumbear also on hold fire, meaning that Kimbo here wants to micro it a bit harder. Well, yeah, the Brumbear also good versus armor. If it can hit, of course. <laughs> Ah, that's our cover! Run! To another cover! You better run! You better... Hmm... Oh, I forgot the rest of the lyrics. That was men at work down under. <laughs> For, uh, like, one and a half second. I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> so... We got spotting scopes here for Mr. Kimbo. Yes, yes, yes. Allowing them to uh, see a little further. Did I just hear artillery? No, I don't think so. Oh, actually I did. There is a Katush out. Only got one kill though. And now Thomas here is called for the fatherland. The patriotic seal of the German nation. Inspiring the Germans to hold on to what land they have and fight off the enemy. <clears throat> A little bit of armor also coming in here to help versus all this infantry that Crossfire is currently sending in uh, Thomas's general direction. Grenadier makes it out alive, however. <clears throat> Crossfire, how's it going? You have yet to get out any tanks or tech up for that matter, and we're at the 22 mark. That's unusual. And Scotch, not going for a medium tank first. Instead, he went for uh, the Katusha, which initial barrage was lackluster. Only got a single kill. Okay, W player. We got radio intercept here, revealing that the mechanized regiment is, in fact, up and running. Meanwhile, fear propaganda is hitting um, the Obersoldaten there. But fortunately, these guys are immune to fear propaganda when you are walled. Don't ask me how it works, but who knows? Or maybe they just can't read, but I doubt that. <clears> or <throat> a skill increases. Yes. I don't know who got that promotion of these two. Brumbear needs to get some good shots in. They are clumped up. No, he's going for uh, the uh, AT gun here. Lots of health damage, but no model drops, however. <clears throat> AEC also poking its head in. Oh, threat shot. Hit. Can the AC deal with it? Yes, it takes it out. Nice. Yeah, good on you, AEC. You did it. You earned yourself a fat paycheck. In, and the currency being experience. But, 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 the AEC is going to have a little bit of the trouble, to say the least, when it comes to penetrating the frontal armor of the Panther. Still, it can use its threat shot versus the Panther. Still very annoying to be up against that. Duck, 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 duck. <clears throat> So, I'm not sure. Crossfire, he must have been bleeding a lot of manpower since he has yet to get any medium tank on the field. And I assume that's what he wants to go for since he hasn't teched up for hammer or anvil. <laughs> but then again, his AC took down a medium tank. Good on it. Mine. <clears throat> well, let's also um, check in on the middle. Brumbear earned a side skirt. Getting some good hits on the Sis gun. Nice. One more good shot. Yeah, and decrewed, but conscripts are there to pick it up once again. One shot did go in, but not enough to completely wreck it. 
And now we see that fear being utilized quite a bit, actually. There we go. Scotch bringing out the SU-85 crossfire. Still nothing. Oh, oh, oh. Going hammer. Okay, he's going for the hammer. Maybe he felt like he wanted to be uh, closer related to the USSR. You know, hammer and sickle. Not hammer and anvil. Okay, I suppose that could also work. <clears throat> Yoink. I'll just take this. Thank you very much. And Tomas got an upgrade here. No more P4, but we got the Panther out. Doink. Oh, crossfire digging in. But uh, this hole in the ground here won't be able to survive many of shots from the broom bear. However, we got a little bit of AT support. The, uh, the Kettenwerfer still on it. Going back, Panther. Oh, I hear a Katusha firing. Where is it? Middle area. Okay, good infantry there. And... Okay. Yeah, okay, it's actually gotten a couple of kills since the last time I looked at it. Before it was on one, now it's on five. Yeah, okay. <clears throat> oh, you found the mine. Congratulations. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen, it's a Comet Tank! <clears throat> Better late than never, Kimbo. Once again, sending the bird in the sky here. He wants to know what Crossfire is up to. Gets a good view of the situation. Knows that his forces are concentrated around the glider, which also acts as a reinforcement point. I'm pretty sure the Axis would love to get this glider destroyed. And f but, 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 let's take a look at the map here. The Axis are actually holding the vast majority of the map, having pushed the Allies back. But now, with the Allies having a tank destroyer and soon a comet, they ought to be able to push back versus these big boys. 300 points and counting yeah Axis has overtaken them in terms of victory points scotch is doing what he can to slow down the bleeding by capping the vp on his side also going for the middle well the building here should be able to withstand a shot oh it was on uh, something Prioritize vehicles. That's why it didn't fire. <laughs> Anywho, here we go. Did that Katusha get anything? Uh, it's going with a 41 kill again. Point. Didn't have much success at infiltrating the enemy's lines there, but the, the other squad here got up close, but now for the fatherland has once been called. And yoink. This could be the end of the AC. One more shot. And dead it is. The Panther avenges its little brother. Yeah, yeah. It's dead. <clears throat> Comet tank. Gonna have some help here from the AT guns. But... It's also an AT gun on the other side of the ball yard. Ball court? Ball yard? Football field? <clears throat> Thomas bringing out that walking Stuka. Also, mechanics here. Yep. Yeah, such a nice luxury to have. Just park your tank near this and then repairs are coming in automatically. No need to micro your pioneers to do that. <clears throat> Looks like... Kimbo was trying to get close to the glider, but this engages by a lot. It's not like there's too many forces here. Commandos moving out, cloaked. We'll get spotted, maybe. Yeah, they should be spotted now. And the Raketen were for full on retreat. Not looking to stick around to capture that light gammon bomb. 
light gammon bomb. No, I don't think there's much light about it. Assault gun, issue 85, tank destroyer. Looking for targets of opportunities and there is indeed a broom bear. Oh, he went for the overshot, firing over the house. Nice, actually caught Scott off guard there. And another good hit from the broom bear. Max veterancy. Man. Somebody stop that broom bear. It's killing everything. And Scott's going for double Katusha's? Well, maybe to make up for the fact that Crossfire cannot bring any rocket artillery on his field. At best, a mortar pit and fire technics. That's his options. <clears throat> Looks like the axes are falling a bit back here. I wonder why. It's not like the allies are pushing them hard. Well, some commanders are hiding, waiting for Thomas to set foot on this fuel point comet about to be repaired well it's been a long time since we've seen that haven't we <clears throat> back to the middle thomas no i meant scott here i wonder yeah he is sending out some troops nope redirects them to the middle area instead of going for this vp up there i hear fire again gets away one of the grin squads but uh steady yep that's the scotch mine <laughs> yes like that one squad goes down oorahing in trying to get that AG grenade off engine damage but is there a follow-up the su-85 inching its way towards the armor up here but the pack guns are almost in position to return fire so does the uh, panther. <clears throat> Brumbert still taking... Taking name, digging graves. No prisoners shall be taken by the Brumbert. Oh, could get some good hits on the repairing pioneers. No. Oh, oh wow. Yes, the 2-2-2 two, two, two at vet free. And they do have the... Uh, the spotting scopes installed right now i have fog of war on and look at this look at this crazy vision that we're getting from um, the 222 fog of war back off mm -hmm. so with kimbo's bird in the sky Along with his spotting scope here, he provides so much vision for uh, for the uh, for the team. All right, let's see here. Crossfire has taken this VP. Can he hold it? He is, of course, up against some Terminator uh, Obersoldaten. However, explosions are one of their few weaknesses. Panther not looking to tango, but another comet is soon on its way. More caddy fire. Probably on the middle again. Nope. 80 guns this time around. Might not get the. Yeah, pretty close. Close at getting the D crew and thus erasing uh, the veterans he gained. But no dice. The crew lives on, and those double stars will remain on their shoulders as a symbol of their combat experience. <clears throat> also, take a look at this. 36 kills with 5. Yeah, they are a mean bunch. Not so mean when they're on hold fire and standing out in the open. <laughs> Walking Stuka here, almost ready. In fact, it is good to go now. Probably be bombing the 
Nope, it's actually moving forward. Do they have a target? I'm not sure. No, it stopped. But it'll probably um, stand by, ready to fire on these AT guns here. Once again, Caddy Fire is going in, but uh, one kill only. Not an awful lot. And there it is. Fire some missiles! One, two, three, four, five, six, and many more. Dodge! Well, crew still alive. That's the uh, most important thing. Pioneers, along with their um, support package, making their way towards this VP, but found themselves getting gunned as they run along. Also, looks like they will be sandwiched. They got enemies in front, enemies behind, and enemies on the side, along with one of their own Panthers. Which is their cue to make a beeline towards their own base as they retreat. But not fast enough. <clears throat> However, Scotch now bringing out some new batch of conscripts. More shoe mines also going down there. Good on Thomas for finding the time to get some of this down this time. We got a wipe with the Katusha. Nicely done there. And what is this? Thomas going for the sector assault. His Puma is going in. Blitzing! But, okay, there's something to shoot at over there. And a caddy. Yes, please. Or the uh, glider. A little bit of a buffet here, but no, now the panther is coming in to ruin the party and hold fire here. Thomas, he's just looking for an escape right about now. Uh, SU-85 is there, Comet there, Comet also there. The broom bear is going in. We got Peck on support. Uh, one more shot and this could be dead, but it's okay. Now it's dead. Now it's dead. Abandon tank. And they got nothing. Or did they? One of the caddies are dead. So, yeah, I think this could be it. Okay, okay. So it wasn't in vain. It wasn't in vain. Not at all. Not at all. But still. Panther for Katusha. I say the allies got the best of that deal. Did it, was it up there the Katusha went down? Oh well. Panther. Alrighty then. He is going in. Or is he? The plane is in the sky. It looks like the yeah, the SU-5 is just pointing in uh, that direction where it was. Looking to make its approach. <clears throat> looks like we got a little more caddy fire. And what was that? That was a Raket Warfare here returning uh, the favor already up to 10 kills. That thing has been doing a good job. Kimbo, by the way, speaking of doing a good job, he has a sizable army almost completely pop capped. While um, Scotch and Thomas are having uh, plenty of room to expand their army. Crossfire almost pop capped, by the way. A walking Stukat just uh, one meter off from hitting that AT gun, sadly. Oh, oh, wow, what are we seeing here? Mortar cover, got the pack gun. At least one of them. I don't know where the other one is. It is a little further back, but it has lost its veterancy, so no more veterancy on those pack guns. What about Thomas? Oh yeah, Thomas's army here has shrunk a bit in terms of um, mainline infantry. I don't see any Volks anymore. Still has his um, Jaeger Light Infantry squad on the call and... But who needs infantry when you can build more tanks? <laughs> Commissar dead. He should have stayed behind his disc. Plus, the medic also died. In fact, the commissaire was already dead before hitting the mine. <laughs> Comments here. 
putting a little dent in the panther, but um, A little bit of artillery going in on the little leak. And yeah, it's just Thomas trying to defend this VP here and succeeding at that actually. But this Vickers here. Not Vickers. No, that was actually a stolen HMG. Is about to uh, meet its maker if it continues to sit still. Oh, no, Panther is pulling back, but, uh, death from above. <laughs> oh, yes. De oh, my God. Good one. Good one there on the walking Stuka. And again, what is going on over here? Panther versus Comet. We got some planes, AT guns. Might actually win. Yes. Just needs one more shot. And there we go. Comet lost for crossfire. Not bad at all. <clears throat> and this conscript squad here, yeah. Oof. Scott had his attention elsewhere. <clears throat> Issue 85, fully repaired, and oh my god. Double Panthers charging in. One of them hits a mine, though. Bad timing, you know, when they're in this, an SU-85 just looking straight at you. But... What? Why is he not... No! I think that was a missed opportunity there from the team to take it down. Oh, not good. Not good at all. And... Th is the game over? Are they... Yeah, okay, it looks like they are but uh, okay it's over game over gentlemen looks like uh, the allies looking at the pop cap here they did take quite a beating and thomas and the gang here have a healthy pop cap so yeah they were struggling here in the later stages of the game trying to push out of their um, their surrounding base sector here didn't really succeed at doing so anywho Hope you enjoyed this one. Like and subscribe if you did. Dislike the video if you disliked it. And as always, I will see you next time. Bye.